So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can add a background to our level. So before we start our background, most important bit of detail that we need to know is how big our level is, 1708 by 960. So if we want a background that covers our whole level, we need to make it that size. So we can right click, insert new object, and we're just going to scroll down until we get one called tiled background. Give it a name. So I might want to call it day background insert. And then it's going to bring up this little tool here. This is where you want your object to be placed. It's a really good idea for backgrounds. Place it in the top corner, but you can move this after. So we get this editor here, and this allows us to create many different objects, such as characters or backgrounds, inside Construct itself. Now, if we've got a more advanced tool that we want to use, such as Photoshop, we might want to import a Photoshop file from this option here. And this will bring in that option there so we can work off a Photoshop file instead. So you've got the option there. So before we start anything, we need to resize our background. So I'm going to click on this little one with the two arrows. And I'm going to change this to 1708 by 960. And if you've got keep aspect ratio on, you just need to turn this off. If we've got an image already, we can stretch it so it can fill the space that it's got, or you can align it center or left. So if you've already got an image and you've not resized already, you can then re uh, stretch it to be the right size. You get some weird results with this sometimes. So just be careful. It's a really good idea to resize your canvas beforehand. So press OK. We can use minus to zoom out a little bit. And now this is our background to work off. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to fill in the background with green. So just click on this square here. And we're just going to click a green for that. So we can fill that in. Now I want a blue sky. So I'm going to click on the blue. And I want my outline to be black. So I just need to go to black. And just make sure that they're changed over like so. So your top color will be the color of the box. Your secondary color will be the color of the outline. So I can come in and I can do that just like so. And you'll see I've got that little outline there. I need to go over a little bit further this time. There we go. So that's added. And then I can add a quick cloud in as well. So just add a white cloud in. I can change my brush size to be a little bit bigger. Just so I can make this cloud a bit quicker. There we go. Awful cloud, but it does the job. And then once I'm finished, what we need to do is just press on the X here. And this will close it. And you see that I've got my background here. Now, this doesn't cover up our whole page. So what we need to do is we need to click on these arrows and we need to drag it out. So this will instead add it like that. Now, I said to use a tile background. Tile background has some benefits. So what a tile background does is when we reach the edge of our background, when we've got no background left, it's just going to repeat it. So you see that we get the cloud again. If we kept going forward, we'll get the other cloud. So if you can create a background where the end looks like the beginning and you've got the repeat and look, then you can have something like this. Depending on the size of the level, this might be a better option than having to recreate a very, very large background. So this is our background. This is how you create a background. Next video, we'll be looking at creating a character to go into this world as well.